outfit. Thank you. Can you say that again? I like your outfit. Can you say it again? I like your outfit. Take three. Was the, That was the winner. Do you, did you know the one about the maraschino cherry? If you swallow maraschino cherry, it stays in your stomach for seven years? No way. Yeah. What about all those cocktails I've had? All those old fashions? Yeah, you got a lot of cherries in your stomach. Josh was just in our studio in L.A., and he was talking about how you guys make weekly trips to Disney for dinner. Yes. I love that. Can I come with you? I honestly thought to. I dyed my hair. It was the last thing we did the day before we went back to Canada to start this season. And I was like, I'm blonde. No one will know we're there. But we were, we were busted. Yeah. Fans here will line up overnight to see panels and see your panels and see you guys. Is there anything that you would, you know, camp out overnight for tickets for? I would say Game of Thrones. Uh, I'd camp out overnight for tickets to uh, to meet Pearl Jam. I mean, well, most of the things at Comic Con because it's all my flavor. This is like this is my all my my genre is here. If the Beatles came back from the dead and played a gig, yeah. I'm not very good at standing on lines. I'm awful. Oh, I know, but like to wait for things, I'm like I'd rather what be at home. We're talking the about summer. ourselves. Yeah. Then we're fine. Got it. Oh, uh, Grateful Dead of the Rolling Stones. Oh, nice. And I've done it, Springsteen. Yeah. Right? Have you really? Yeah, when I was a kid. I'd rather be on the sofa watching Netflix with my dog. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a homebody, so for me to go out and sit, I think I have a lot of admiration. I think the fans are a lot stronger and more passionate than I am. No, never. For nothing. <laughs> not a camper? Not a camper, not a ticketer. Star Wars. I would camp out for that. I would also camp out for The Grateful Dead, which I kind of did this past did couple weeks. Did you really? Oh, yeah, because it was their last, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, in San yeah. A Grateful Dead Star Wars crossover would be cool. That's cool. Right? And I Jerry? Jerry has like a crazy uh, job of the hunt or something. <laughs> How do you think the next season is going to be a fresh take on other seasons? Well, I mean, the first thing, obviously, you got you got Emma, who's uh, in the role of the, the dark one now, or is she? <laughs> we don't really know because I like the, way the tease. I like the tease. You know, I think what's what's really exciting for us about this next season is taking taking the hero of our show and turning her into the villain and seeing how a natural progression of her journey throws everyone into chaos as they try to deal with the ramifications of what it means when someone they love goes dark. I feel like we're getting back to our roots a little bit, and so in that way, it is well refreshing because um, the gang's gonna come back together and we're gonna head to Camelot and really indulge in fairy tale life, which I think is, uh, I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do. So we were talking to Josh um, earlier this year. We were, he was in our studio in LA and he talked about, you know, the most crazy thing he's had to do on set was riding the giant pickle, which yeah. turned into the dragon. I don't think anything in compared to Josh riding the giant pickle. What about the giant pickle? I heard so. about, well, I think I saw it on your Twitter, but, <laughs> oh, yeah. but it, it's, it's all, so much green screen that you guys have to yeah. act opposite, which is so tough to do as an actor, yeah, but you made was... a, a joke about, you know, it was supposed to be a dragon in the end. It's but... one of my finer moments. <laughs> anything that you can think of that's been sort of your your pickle well, I mean, I've moment. Done all sorts of bizarre things on this set for sure. I fly my broomstick myself because I like to do my own stunts, but it's sort of like wearing a black diaper. When the giant grabs me, they put me in a big inner tube and hung me from the ceiling. They're all, all the other cast are down there chatting, waiting in between, and I'm just swinging in this black diaper. Like, don't mind me, everyone. You just chill out. I'll just swing from my black diaper in the ceiling. His finger was a giant inner tube, and then I kept having to bite the inner tube, and I had to do it so many times that I bruised my lips. There's been countless times I have, like, fallen off cliffs. I think the first day, first scene, first shot, I was going through how well, I'm going to walk, I'm going to talk a certain way, and, you know, doing all those actor last minute checks. <laughs> and I completely forgot about the bow and arrow. I have like walked through walls. Um, that's what happens when you work on the green yeah. stage, even though things are taped off. When you're in the moment, they're like, um, Lana, you just, you just fell into the moat. Robin Hood, bow and arrow, right. <laughs> and then I was fiddling with it. And this, there was a photographer, a publicity photographer on set and she went, do you know how to use a bow and arrow? And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and she went, I'm an archer, let me show you. Luckily, what are the odds that this publicity photographer was also a part-time archer, so she was like, okay, that arm straight, three fingers to the cheek, and like, just basically gave me a crash course in archery <laughs> seconds before we shot the scene. So when people are like, are you really good at archery? I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm Robin Hood, I'm very good. <laughs> so if you could have a Star Wars character on the show, oh, who would it be? Oh my gosh. 
We've been in a Boba Fett mood recently. Boba Fett would be cool. That'd be very cool. You, know, you and your wife have the same answers. For Did everything. she say that? We both say the same thing for everything. <laughs> she, she steals everything. Everything that She's I stealing your material? Everything. That yeah, I wrote that. That's mine. That's mine. I would like to see Admiral Akbar go against Captain Hook and see who is the better captain, really. I love your portrayal on the show. Thank I think you. you're an incredible actor. Thank you very much. Um, and I think this is one of those shows. You know, there's a lot of shows on TV now where people underplay, underplay, underplay. They play really small. Yeah. Do you feel like with this show and like a character like that, you can just sort of go big or go home? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think that the first, first and foremost, it's a great theatricality yeah. in this. And I think that you have to know how to do that and, and not be afraid of that. And I think what Eddie and Adam and all the writers do so well is that they, they kind of bring these well-known characters and sort of create a sort of a new spin on it and weave them seamlessly into, into the life of uh, Once Upon a Time. What's the most immature or child, childlike thing about you? Oh God, that's a really good question. Uh, what is uh, the most immature? I like fart jokes. I don't understand Josh's love for the fart joke on the level. I mean, yes, they're always funny, but yeah, I like he, he really like it really is on a level that is beyond my comprehension. Is that no, true? Everybody likes them. Do they? I mean, I had one teacher I remember in high school say fart jokes are not funny. They've never been funny and they never will be funny. I think they're funny. I, I don't know what my childishness is. God, I, I mean, I feel like I try to sort of be like a kid every day and try to see everything is, um, you know, brand new and try to be in the moment of, of just experiencing things for the first time. Um, I get very goofy and silly with my dog, for sure. Maybe that's the dog sounds. Because I had a little dog voice for my dog. I definitely have some of that. I also believe my dog speaks English. But, you know, that's just my dog. Uh. <laughs> See, it's funny. It's funny. Um, anyway, we're going to leave it on that. <laughs> no. Bart jokes. Yeah, Bart jokes. Once Young Hollywood.